Broski, ooh. By Mark, GCSE question. Rate my diagram, I think it looks all right, mate. The container is filled with water at a constant rate. After seven hours, the water is 12 meters above the vertex. After 10 hours, the container is full. Determine the value of H. If you can answer this question on your own, it's looking good for you. So maybe for this one, pause the video, see if you get the right answer. Now, if you can't answer it, and you just want to see me do it, it's all good. I'll show you how we do it. So, in the question, they would actually tell you this is a cylinder and a cone. Yeah, but I'm not writing all that yap. So, after seven hours, the water is 12 meters above the vertex. Vertex meaning the, uh, the corner in terms of a cone uh, where these two lines meet each other. So, if this is four, 12 meters is going to be all the way up here. Okay? So that's quite a lot. I mean, obviously the diagram, guys, is not to scale, all right? So after seven hours, we are basically filling up the whole cone and part of that cylinder. But how much of it? Well, if that's 12 and that's four, the difference between them is eight. Obviously, guys, like I said, it's not to scale. So this is gonna be eight meters which obviously does not look anything in length compared to that four, but it's all good, Mike. So, let's work out the full volume of this cone. So the cone, what is the volume of a cone? Whether it's a cone or a pyramid, it's always one third of the base area times the vertical height. Now for a cone, the base area is a circle, okay? So it's gonna be one third circle times height. In our case, we have one third Pi, now the radius of this is the same as the cylinder. So three squared, now times the height, which is quattro. A third of three squared is just three. So we get uh, 12 pi. That would be meters cubed, okay? Now, why are we even finding the volume? We're trying to find the rate at which water is filling up, yeah? Because the rate in which we fill up this cone is gonna determine what H is because we have the time it takes to fill up the whole thing, okay? Is it filling up, and when we talk about filling something up, we're talking about the volume, right? Is one meters cubed being filled up per hour? Is it 10 meters cubed being fill in, uh, filled up per hour? Because the rate will determine, you know, how fast something is gonna fill up, okay? So this is why we're, we're finding the volume. Then we're gonna do the cylinder. The cylinder. Now the cylinder is a prism. Well, it's actually by definition not a prism. Don't quote me on that um, because it doesn't, this is not an edge, okay? It doesn't have any corners. So tree are like a prism, but you do the, the circle times the height. It's a uniform shape, okay? So it's pi r squared times the height. But in our case, the height is ocho. So it's pi times the radius, which is three squared, times the height of eight. Nothing cancels here. We have nine times eight, 72. So the total volume that was filled up in seven hours is this plus this 84 pi. And that's meters cubed, but I'm saying this, okay? So one hour, one hour is the more important thing. So for every hour, we are filling up the, um, the uh, object, this, this container, divided by seven, what's that, 12 pi meters cubed, okay? So for every one hour, 12 meters cubed is filling up. And it says, after 10 hours, this whole thing is full. After 10 hours, that's 120 pi meters cubed. So after 10 hours, that is 120 pi meters cubed. That is the capacity of this shape, yeah? But we already know that 84 pi is this. So what's the difference between these two? That'll give us what's left, which will help us work out H. Okay, so the difference between 120 pi and 84 pi is 36 pi? Yeah, so 36 pi meters cubed is this whole volume okay but that's this bit but if this is eight and the whole thing is h 
the height of this is actually h take away 8. So h take away 8 is this. And now we can rewrite its volume. Okay? So the volume is, remember the volume of a cylinder, pi r squared h. Pi times the radius of 3 squared times the height. The height is h minus 8. Here we need to use a equals, uh, what was it, 36 pi. Alright, beautiful mate. We can cross off a pi on both sides by dividing by pi. 3 squared is 9, remember that's a multiplication. So I'm going to divide by 9 on both sides, 36 divided by 9. Whoops. Whoops or whoops. Brev, h minus 8. 36 divided by 9 is quattro. Add the ocho over, h is 12 meters. Now I'm curious to know, if you did pause the video and have a go on your own, did you get this? You will have ended up getting a full five marks, which is beautiful, mate. If you didn't, then have you learned something today? Either way, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe for more GCSE content like this. I'll see you in the next video. Nice.